Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Katarot and this is going to be Sagittarius uh, Aquarius and Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising <clears throat> Weekly Tarot and Lenormand Reading for uh, August 27 to September 2nd 2018 So while I'm shuffling here the cards guys um, <clears throat> in case you do want a personal reading with me everything you need to know about it which is my website is written down below in the description of this video as well as, as it is um, the summer ending, uh, well there is a, a summer end sale going on which regards to the 30 minute reading and it does add a, a 10 minutes on top of those 30 minutes. So um, that being said here, um, let me just cut the cards and obviously one fell down which is going to be your topic of the week. <clears throat> Aquarius is followed by the next card which is the core of your situation then we do have the third card representing the challenges that you have to overcome for the duration of the week and the last one here will play the role of the guidance that it is best for you to follow so let's see what you do have here now the first card does represents the page of uh, of cups and this week it is all about you making a preparations for yourself and from the and for those as well that are involved into your situations because the page of cups when it comes to a the topic of the week this is the sense that a, a major change is approaching now this major change isn't gonna take place right now in this particular week but your senses regarding it almost um, clairvoyance um, senses will be very sharp and you will be able to even pick up the direction from which the this kind of a um change is about to enter in your life either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship this change is almost always positive when utilized correctly and how you can utilize it guys but 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 uh, by excuse me start a uh, analyzing your personal positions and personal performance regarding your career and regarding your relationship and especially analyzing which kind of a, a um, field of your life you are most emotionally connected to because um, the page of cups only thrives in those kind of environment that the page feels, feels emotionally connected to therefore um, <clears throat> your uh, all attitude and your all uh, attention should be focused on this particular uh, on this particular field of your life either career or either relationship and you have to uh, put extra efforts here to um, reassess yourself and to reassess your positions so those positions can fit the grand scheme of things when that particular change is start happening and as I said this particular week here you will start sensing where and how that change will start to happen so you are going to be forewarned about it and you should kind of listen to that intuition should I say it that way um, <clears throat> premonition or um, our inner voice everybody says it in different ways you know but uh, you will be one step ahead should I say that way <clears throat> now uh, also uh, when it comes to the page of cups here it's very important one to be creative and one to very well realize um, how can I place it um, they are true um, their true position into the grand scheme of things or how they are going to fall when uh, that change is start happening and the core of the situation here that will be the seven of swords so <clears throat> you have recently uh, that car represents your personal uh, your personal inner state to uh, because the seven of swords is about standing for one's right and it is about basically deviating from the foreign alien agenda and now start following your own personal agenda so these couple of cards here are pointing that you may have obtained or you are about to obtain a, a huge inside Aquarius is here that you, on your own you are actually much better or on your own or relying more to yourself you know and finally initiating your personal business and your personal stuff 
putting them into stir will benefit you more than you being following someone. So these couple of cards could regard the very first uh, initiation of a plan of making a plans for starting your own personal business, you know, or uh, if it regards to uh, personal relationships, this card could refer to a realization, you know, that you do deserve much more or that you have been treated unfair into your relationship and now is the time for you to stand up for your right, storm the situation and rearrange the positions that are into that relationship so you place yourself into a more favorable position than you are right now etc etc so it's all about you defining which kind of field of your life it's making you feel despondent because despondency is as well a an emotional connection all right and try to reassess your positions about it as i said so you can change those positions you kind of like um, improve your personal assessment in it <clears throat> Now, when it comes to the Seven of Swords as well, when it falls to uh, the, the core of the situation here, uh, as I said, it does speak for a, a huge uh, <clears throat> insight, you know, that uh, you have to follow your, um, your personal agenda, but as well, it could be... Uh, a realization that you have been not exactly lied but let's say deceived and especially if we're talking about a career here or this particular cards manifest for your career then it is likely that you will find out that you have been either misused or your uh, means have been used for um, undertaking which will benefit you with nothing but only benefits those that are using you so that's why you most likely will withdraw your support from somebody or from a certain project or from um, <clears throat> society of people so you can now start using your means for your personal ends rather than for the ends of others. Now the difficulties that you may face for the duration of the week here is the Four of Pentacles and that card points that um, are following a certain convictions or a following a certain um, <clears throat> code of conduct. So for what it seems here the uh, your actions should be a little bit off the rules of the game, either your career or either your relationship. Kind of understandable with the Seven of Swords. I was kind of a, a reluctant to interpret it that way, but this card also may manifest through you the necessity on your behalf to make some surreptitious actions so you can restore the balance in the treatment and restore the balance in the positions, if you want to say it that way as well, either into your career or either into your your relationship because <clears throat> um, the thing is uh, guys that everybody lies everybody lies and uh, the only thing that we can do about it is to choose how to use this fact for ourselves and for our personal benefit just to give you an example you may um, know that your partner in relationship is lying to you well instead of straight away conf uh, straight away confronting them which is the code of conduct here into one relationship you know maybe you want to um, <clears throat> keep that information for yourself waiting for the best possible uh, moment for you to corner your partner so you make them do something they would rather uh, not do in a normal conditions which is again a reassessment and a reshuffling of the positions into one relationship giving you the upper hand there and restoring the balance into the relationship itself so you have to be very smart during this particular week Aquarius says and you need to use the information and the means that you do have uh, only when the time is right and only when the time is the most potent for you to make the most out of those means that's why unfortunately guys you have to be a little bit slinky you have to be a little bit as I said surreptitious regarding the situation and regarding the people around you especially if that involves as well emotions as we can see here with the page of cups and the best possible course of action to do so here that will be the uh, <clears throat> 
the world card and it's kind of uh, I'm kind of surprised uh, seeing the world card into that into that situation so uh, this card here points that you have to liberate yourself from a certain strings and attachment especially when it comes to other people so maybe you Aquarius are suffocated by an obligation to follow and please somebody either into your career and either into your relationship and the world card here signifies that all the means that you do have, all the information, all the aces which are within your sleeves has to be used for you to detach, to reach a, uh, to obtain your personal freedom, if you want to say it that way, or to liberate yourself from those strings and attachment which are establishing control upon your life. And that is, again, another form of reassessing and reestablishing one's positions either into your career or either into one's relationship as well uh, and the world card also it does implement into one's environment that uh, whatever one thing finishes and it's finalized one needs to uh, kind of try to find a, a new activity new undertaking new perspective in general to follow as well but the most important thing for you Aquarius is for the duration of this week as the core card here suggests is to settle down the score you just go out guys and get them those who mistreated you and those who uh, acted unfair towards you because you can accept it as a karma payback here all right that they have um, screwing with you for uh, quite some time and now it is time for you to do the same with them and so let's see what the Lenormand card has to say for you and what kind of um, event is uh, possible to happen uh, it's, got, it's possible to happen to you and how you can utilize on that particular event here. <clears throat> Alright, so the first card that we do have, this is going to be the broom and the whip. We definitely have some conflicts and some clashes here as these couple of cards predicted. Then it is the dog, so it's going to be with a loyal friend of yours, um, <clears throat> someone that you have trusted thus far, kind of understandable, reassessing one's position, and it's definitely is going to be from your work. So that will be a, a very faithful companion that you have at your work, a co-worker, you know, that seemingly almost always supported you had used your means to what they are and you have discovered that here and it is where the clash starts it is where the conflict arises now what that conflict is going to bring to you it is kind of uncertain here but the tower card rather advises you the tower from uh, from the Lenormand this is totally different from uh, from the tarot uh, the tower card here rather advises you that um, the one who has most followers is going to win the conflict because it's all about exterior support because the tower card is more prone to put you into an isolation so how you can win the conflict is by sapping your opponent from the support that your your opponent has um, among your co-workers and among your friends in general so try to win the crowd rather than to win the argument itself that will be the best course of action here taking over and obtaining the upper hand in that conflict so that being said Aquarius says this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27 to September 2nd 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me again um, <clears throat> Everything you need to know about it is actually only my website and it is written down below in the description of this video. Don't forget about the summer end sale which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service as well. And um, I wish you the best of luck. See you next time. Bye.